This is how Greater Manchester sees the road ahead. The city has just switched on 250 electric car charging bays. It's not alone. Just yesterday, Bristol, Plymouth and Exeter received government grants to do the same. But is it money well spent? The government offers grants to prospective buyers. Even so, there are just 4,000 electric car owners in the UK. It's like any new technology it has to be sort of developed and trialled and then it's, it's driven by cost, I think, as costs come down and convenience as well, as well as the performance of the vehicles. Figures obtained by the BBC reveal that 139 UK councils have spent more than £7 million on charge points. That equates to £1,750 for every electric car on the road. Yet one in six of those councils have at least one charge point that hasn't been used for a year. In the northeast of England, home to the UK's largest network of charge points, there are bays which have never been used. We're moving from one established technology, which was the internal combustion engine, to an electric vehicle. We've never had to put an infrastructure in before. So what we've had to do is we've had to put enough in to make sure people have got the confidence to buy the vehicle. That's the key point. But the North East is also where Nissan chose to produce its electric car. And that's why the government continues to back and fund public charge points. They expect more of us to go electric in the coming years. And if drivers of the future are to back the battery, they'll need somewhere to charge it. Jenny Hill, BBC News.